The biggest thing that I go by is you paint with your gut and your emotions and how you feel. I used to start by doing sketches and then I would paint from there. After a while, you kind of get bored of that. That's the problem with me. I get kind of like, ah, it's not challenging enough. So I just want to push the boundary. And ever since I got pushed into the world of contemporary, I started teaching myself all these different things, you know, the basics. And I started basic kind of like that. Just do like color, a story narrative and paint from there. And I started learning little, little by little how to get a little better from there. My name is Brian Perez. I'm a contemporary artist from Orlando and this is my life's work. I've been painting since 2020. I was more of a film guy before that, but I thought it'd be better to put all my ideas in just one canvas and just go with it from there. Um, right now, it's just the background. I'm trying to see, I'm trying to focus like the composition of what I want to add next. I might probably do like an arm or some of the limbs maybe. I'm not sure, I haven't really seen anything yet. But I like how this is coming out in the water, setting in the, on just on the wood. Completely self-taught, a lot of ideas from what I read, from what I watch. I'm a huge film buff, so I really like specific shots and settings that I like to put moods into. I knew that everything is a process. In COVID, you have a lot of time to do whatever you want. You have a lot of time to waste. You know, I remember I fell out of UCF, greatest thing to ever happen to me, quit my job, second greatest thing I ever did. And then I just said, screw it, let me just paint. And then I started off small and I started gradually getting bigger and bigger and bigger. I thought to myself, you know, I want to be in all kinds of aspects when it comes to painting and I had to push myself. I remember being scared to death when I had to like get like a medium piece. So I was like, oh shoot, I'm not used to this proportion. But like I said, you paint with your gut. So you kind of play around with it. The fucking hand of God. There's been times where I have really hated the process of what piece I'll be doing where I would throw it on the ground or I probably, you know, thread it and I'm going to burn it. And then I come back the next day and then I just keep painting and then I do enough layers where I'm like, I'm so sorry, I'm wrong. <laughs> Most artists could relate. <laughs> we don't have a lot of money, you know, this shit's expensive as hell. So I've kind of broke it down to as simple as I can where even if I have some kind of cash, I could just go and get it. You know, I didn't have the money to buy big canvases and it was nerve wracking because if I fuck it up and I don't like the piece, I can't do it again. So with the canvases, I could just cut one piece and just start practicing, get some big um, scaling ready and then just kind of like go from there and make a series. With the drop cloth, I feel it gives me a specific texture that I really like that regular commercial canvases doesn't do it. I just start having fun with it. and then. And then I started interpreting the idea of like scratching, using different unconventional tools. And, you know, it kind of feels like endless, the ideas. So now I like how it's going. I think I'm just going to add some small details right now and then I could probably consider it done. Forget money, forget capitalism, forget all that, just paint it. Just paint, take your picture, make your music, who cares? If people don't like it, keep doing it. You're gonna, you know, the whole point of being an artist is to evolve and you could start with one thing, even if it's as basic or you're trying to sound like too much like someone, eventually you're gonna find your own voice or your own image. I think that's the most important. And you know, art is beautiful in the end of the day. And if it's to you very personal and you like it, that's all that matters really.
this and when I'm done with this, I could do the ink stuff real quick. That would go. And then we'll be good because I need to air this place out. <laughs> yeah.